All right, so in this example, again, guys, we're looking. This one's not as obvious as some of the other ones that we've looked at. But if I say, well, you know what? I'm just going to try something. I'm going to let u equal e to the x plus 4. Because what I notice is when if e is going to equal the denominator, and I take the derivative of that, I get the numerator, which is e to the x, right? So if I do du with respect to dx, I'm going to get e to the x. And therefore, I can multiply the e to the dx on both sides. And right now, guys, do we have Do I now have everything covered? If I plug back in, if I plug in du, I get e to the x dx, e to the x dx. And if I replace u with e to the x plus 4, so is this like the exact same problem? Is it? Yes. Is, can we integrate 1 over ln of u? Yes, we can integrate 1 over ln of u. That's going to be ln of absolute value of u. And then we could say, um, obviously, that would be plus c. And then we can integrate that from ln of 3 to negative ln of 3. However, what we mentioned, guys, is when we're using the fundamental theorem of calculus, we don't really need to use this plus c because when we subtract our two intervals, that c subtracts out. So what I can do is I can just simplify this. And rather than writing u, we know what u is, which is e to the x. So I'm just going to rewrite this with e to the x. And then evaluate this from ln of 3 uh, to negative ln of 3. Now, we could use the absolute value. However, is this function always going to be positive? Is e to the x plus 4 always going to give you a positive value? No. Think of what e to the x looks like, guys. Is it always positive? Yeah. yeah, so we really don't need to include the absolute value. We need to make sure we include them like to understand that it's there. But since this is always a positive function, you know, it's just, it's just extra stuff to write. So let's go and evaluate this. ln of e to the ln of 3 plus 4 minus ln of e to the negative 1, or negative ln of 3 plus 4. There I see what I did and how I wrote that in there. Now we've got to simplify some things. Um, I kind of wrote that too big. Let's put that down there. All right, so let's do the next line. We can simplify this to ln of 3 plus 4, right, using the rules, rules of logarithms. e to the ln of 3 is just equal to 3. Yes? OK. Minus um, here. I don't really need my brackets here. Here, I could, can't I put this as a negative? Um, I could rewrite this as negative ln of 3 is the same thing as ln of 3 to the negative 1. Would you guys agree with me on that one? You can take the constant or the coefficient and throw it up as the exponent. Yes? So therefore, I can rewrite this as. Um, 3 to the negative first power plus 4. Therefore, I get ln, ln of 7 minus, now this is going to be 1 third plus 4. If you get common denominators, you can multiply by 3 over 3, which is 1 plus 12 over 3. So it's 13 over 3 minus ln of 13 over 3. And technically, guys, if we were trying to find a calculator, you could just plug it in from like there, right? I mean, you could write that. Or if they're asking for an exact value, um, remember, this could also be rewritten as ln of the division of them. Just be careful. 7 divided by 13 over 3. And then that could be simplified one more time. right? You could multiply that by the reciprocal. So that would be a 21 ln of 21 
over 13? Just be careful. Like that would be an exact answer possibly that they might give you. Or obviously if you're just finding in the calculator, you could just plug that into your calculator from there and you'd be good to go. Okay? Yes. Yes. So I'm not really sure. So when you went from uh, the very first line, uh, not the very first line, of the evaluation, ln of yep. e or something there. So ln of e to the ln. ln of e raised to the ln of 3 is 3. Yep. And then why, why would you flip the 4 with the 3? Well, because it's e to the x plus 4. The original function is e to the x and then plus 4. So if it's e to the ln of 3, that means that equals 3, and then it's still plus 4. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, last question, then I'm just going to give you guys some work.